Welcome to the Hank Darrell Show with your host, Hank Darrell. Hey, yeah, what's it going, man? Hank Darrell. Please welcome my first guest, Drew Nicholson. Bring him out, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Too much energy there, hold on. Uh, so I see you're addicted to coke. You hurt my leg. Like that. Pepsi. So I see you're against coke. <laughs> okay. I feel like coke battery was the only soda in the fridge. Oh. Shifting gears, let's get right to the damn questions, alright? So you wrote a book, that's why you're on. We don't have a copy here. What's the title? Uh, the cop, the, the book's called, uh, The Mother I Never Knew. Really? And what does that book consist of? Well, it's an autobiography, um, about my entire life, how I started as an inner city kid and became, like, a, an author of a best-selling book. And so the book is about you writing a book? That sounds kind of... Oh. <laughs> No, you see, I've written books in the past oh. talking about all my inspirations for those books mm -hmm. and then tying them into my life. And uh, the title of the book, The Mother I Never Knew. Uh, uh, I never really felt I knew my mother, actually. She was, she was a whore. I think, I, think well, her, I think her real name was Jane Drunkslow. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway um, my mother died in childbirth. Mm -hmm. But my father kept telling me these stories about mm -hmm. my mother. Tales, per se. Your mother had tails? What the hell's that? <laughs> tails? Like two, like one of them, like a dolphin cat thing? What the hell? <laughs> no, it, it, story, tales, stories. Oh, like fairy tales? Yeah. But they were real. They were real. And uh, even though I never kn knew her at all, uh, I still looked up to her as a role model. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also talks about my uh, childhood in inner city New York. Mm -hmm. And, um, Childhood in the hood. That's what you should have called your damn book. Childhood in the hood. <laughs> and I uh, talked about how I grew up. Uh, it was a rough educational system. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got past all that. Mm -hmm. I applied myself. Mm -hmm. uh, when he also applied Vaseline three times a day. <laughs> uh, and then how I, got, I was admitted to Columbia University. Mm -hmm. Because I was the head of my class, yes, and I majored in English, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I wrote a series of books. Well, with a series of books like this, you certainly would have majored in Yugoslavian. <laughs> <laughs> so you were. Um, you were what college did you go to? Columbia. Why you have that? I, well, you were an athlete. Let's test your reflexes. Ah. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, you mentioned I was an athlete. I actually paid for uh, my. Uh, high school and college football team mm -hmm. uh, played um, center. Mm -hmm. so. More like self center. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the writers really suck. I'm fired. I'm, you know, okay, keep going. All right, all right, and yeah, it's a really a story about. A, it's really a rags to riches story. Rags to riches. Yeah, kind of like when you uh, spend all your riches to buy rags at TJ Maxx. Anyway. <laughs> That's actually not it. Okay, we'll be right back. Here we are with the hobo and his bench. Hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Camera. Hi, Mom! Wait, I don't have one. <laughs> uh, so what do you want, ladies? Tell us about your bench. We're advertising this specific type of bench. Well, you see, I'm trying to sell it for half a cent, and I don't have that much in my savings. I have negative five hundred three hundred sixty-nine thousand dollars which isn't even a real fucking number. And, um, anyway, I'm basically, I'm trying to buy a new house. Um, this is actually actual size. It's a cardboard box. And, uh, you know, it's pretty practical, I guess. What's a mugger trying to attack me? I'm, I'm freaking defenseless. And how but, much are you selling this bench for? I'm like, I already said, asshole, it was a half a cent. And it still is. Would you like to buy it? No. You. So come to Discount Bomb Warehouse Bench Place. Well, 
Welcome back to the Hank Darrell Show. <laughs> yeah, no, honey, I, I gotta go. No, seriously, I'm with someone. No, no, no. A guest. No, no, no. Bye. 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 Oh. So where were we? Where'd you get that jacket? <laughs> I don't know. Stop asking me questions. I'm the interviewer. All right. <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, my book. Yeah, and? Uh, I told you about the entire plot. Hey, what do I have? No memory? Come on. So what do you... I was supposed to come up with questions, wasn't I? <laughs> okay. If I was going to ask you a question, what would it be? Uh, do you believe your book will be a success? Well, that's kind of off topic, but do you believe your book would be a success? <laughs> um, yeah. If, uh, the book sold about a thousand copies in its uh, first half hour of, uh, of release. Really? Because you know my audiobook sold, uh... The audiobook, I forget the title because I'm a little racist. Anyway, the audiobook is, um, my audiobook, obviously, in... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it sold, like, 10,000 copies of it in the first half second. I don't know how the hell that happened. It must have been a bunch of clones or something. <laughs> anyway, back to your junk. <laughs> yeah. In the, the book, uh, sales charts show that the book has been selling at an exponential rate. I don't follow the charts, and what the hell does exponential mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. As time goes by, mm -hmm. the the um the sales get uh they increase tenfold. They sell they sell faster oh. as time goes by. Really? Yeah. I I tend to always thought that the more time goes by, the more book chance the book has of going out of print. <laughs> uh, that's what's so amazing about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There it is. Ow. Okay. Um, I thought your legs were long. <laughs> um, can I take a picture of you so I know... Can I take a picture of you so I know you're really here just to prove to my wife because she thinks I'm cheating on her! <laughs> wow. There we go. A flash. Hold on a second. <laughs> Like, uh, like, uh, I'm singing a song. <laughs> Come on. So they're both like, uh. I, I, I was stuck on something. Really? Drugs? <laughs> that's, that's great. Let's, tell, let's hear about I it. I did not do drugs. Oh. So what were you stuck on? A woman? <laughs> I, I, I couldn't come up with something to say. Oh. We'll be right Wait. back after this commercial break.